Wow. I, I needed a, a game like that. Like I needed air to breathe. The Miami Heat just putting a complete ass kicking on the Cleveland Cavaliers today. 121 to 84, your final score, a 37 point victory for Miami. And my God, I mean, it was just, it was a, a great performance all around wire to wire for Miami today. They come out of the gate and look, you get the news to start today's game. You're like, look, no Jaime Jaquez either, which maybe speaks to some of his struggles because he has not been playing good basketball, but he's dealing with some uh, multiple lower body injuries. And so the Heat, they're coming into this one. They are going to lose another piece. But you have to think, hey, Jimmy, Bam, you guys need to take the reins of this game right away. And that's exactly, exactly what happened today. Jimmy and Bam, they set the tone for Miami early in this one. And they they clearly just opened and eased everything right away. They scored 16 of Miami's first 26 points. Jimmy Butler was absolutely furious with getting to the rim today. Uh, he, he goes and gets there nine times in the first half, which is all he would really need because this puppy was over by the third quarter. I mean, this was the, the most anti-third quarter uh, of maybe all time. But Miami just did such a great job. They were so tenacious defensively in this game. Bam Adebayo, five steals in this one. I mean, you could just see it straight off the bat. You know, they got Evan Mobley back, so they're bringing size. Mind you, Bam was not in the last Cavs matchup, but he was breaking up passes right away, was just not letting the Cleveland Cavaliers set themselves up for anything. And they got Evan Mobley in early foul trouble, and they got Darius Garland in big-time foul trouble. Just a very, very aggressive effort for a Miami team coming in against Cleveland, who they've had some of their better performances. And I know, like, look, there's not been a great barometer on all of these just because, you know, they don't have Donovan Mitchell. There's been games the Heat don't have Bam out of bye or didn't have Jimmy Butler. It doesn't matter right now, man. The Heat just needed a good performance all around from their guys. And today, their two stars stepped up. They dictated what they do best. When Jimmy Butler gets in the paint, is aggressive and finds himself in a spot where he can get start get himself starting kicking to shooters. You're going to be in a really really good spot and where Bam Adebayo can just wreak havoc on the defensive end and then the others will follow suit. And the other who followed suit today was Haywood Highsmith. Haywood Highsmith was just an absolute demon on defense today and had his three-point shot going. He starts this game today. I think he started, was it five for five or was it six for six? I think it was five for five, Haywood Highsmith. He ends up missing his first shot on his sixth attempt, and it was a dunk attempt. But he was nailing everything from downtown. And you know when Haywood Highsmith has those active hands, you're in trouble, dude. Led the team today, 18 points for Haywood Highsmith. He was seven to 10 from the field, four of four from downtown. He was an absolute sniper. For the Heat. And so they get into this game and this second quarter, getting themselves in a spot where, you know, Miami goes up and they get this first half, get this thing up to about 20. Bam out of bio gets a couple of jumpers back to back on Jared Allen, just sticking jumpers in his face, one off the window. Real confidence in his uh, in his jump shot today. Bam looked really good. He did still take a three today, though, by the way. Looked good. Looked confident out of his hands. We saw an early attempt from Bam, so I like the fact that we're still uh we're not gonna we're not gonna go these games without just leaving that one on the table. He had a good look at it, top of the key, didn't go in, but I love the fact that he's taking it. I love the fact that he's taking it. But of the 15 threes today that went in, and all of them were pretty, maybe none gave anybody more relief than Patty Mills, who, uh, I mean, whew, I mean, he's a, he has had a, a tough go of his Heat career so far. And today, you could just see, it almost felt like a boulder had been lifted off of his shoulders when he hits a three-pointer in the third quarter. Because the Miami Heat, they go into the first half, and what was the, what was the score at halftime? At halftime, we have a score where Miami is up, 60 to 39. So they're up 21. You're like, all right. I know we're all thinking the same thing. 
This has been the the and I, I was trying to explain to this the little to the to, to my little Tobin Rugrats. They're like uh, my son says, Dad, what what were you so nervous about? Like they're 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 up I'm like no, you don't understand. When the Heat have a lead, sometimes that's the worst thing in the world when they have a big lead because you're just waiting for the other shoe to drop. And instead, Miami got into the car and they stepped on the gas and the fuel that they had. Jovic, dude. Nikola Jovic comes out of the gate, hits a pair of three pointers for Miami, and then maybe the play of the game. This is where Miami was just really just killing Cleveland because it just felt like everything then was turning into a steal and a slam or a steal and a layup. The fast break points were crazy today for Miami, but Bam gets this steal and just kind of threads the bounce pass right to Nico, bucket. And the Heat were absolutely rolling because then Patty Mills would hit a three. Cavs call a timeout. Things are feeling good right now. So you 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 really are in a, in a great spot. And then Patty Mills goes from downtown again and puts Miami up 74-44 for a 30-point lead. And he just had to feel good for Patty because, look, he just hasn't hit anything since, since especially from downtown. This guy, you, you're desperate. You, you, you sniff. Does anybody have threes? Anybody? I don't know. I'm sniffing around like as if I'm a bloodhound looking for a bone. But that's what it was like. It, it was just you, you're you're sitting here and you're like, please, Patty Mills, just give us some threes. And he delivered today. So it was a great job by Patty Mills. And then probably the daggers of this game today. You had a couple of plays. You had Bam. Get another steal where he takes it and then just very politely, a very polite slam. All right. Puts Miami. I mean, they're just completely in the driver's seat at this point. And then Patty Mills, he gets in on the defensive action. Boop. Gets a little steal. Jimmy Buckets throws down the slam with authority. I mean, it was it was very reminiscent, very reminiscent of round one against the Milwaukee Bucks last season when he gets out willy-nilly for the dunk. And it was an absolute killer today for Miami. So they call timeout after that. Miami is up 38 at this point. And then out of the timeout, Scary Terry gets a steal, and he gets up and hammer dunks it down to put Miami up 40. They go up 86, 46. You you can wave the white towel. You can you can wave the white flag. You can throw in the towel. The Cavs have had enough. JB Pickers Tav is like, all right, uh, this 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 puppy ain't going good. And I saw the tweet from Tim Reynolds of the Associated Press. First forty point lead for Miami. This was crazy. First forty point lead. Think about all the blowouts that we've had around the league. Miami has not gotten in on the action like this. A, a complete throttling. Since October 21st of 2021. And just to refresh your memory, everybody, that was the season opener two seasons ago when they absolutely smoked the Milwaukee Bucks, who at that point were coming off a tainted championship. That was, uh, of course, of a shortened season turnaround. Miami Heat had no rest that year. Very Fugazi uh, sweep. That's some people. We were wearing trophy gold jerseys. It was not a great time. Either way. They uh, they had come in, Miami Heat's opener of that season, and Miami just absolutely blitzed the Milwaukee Bucks. And uh, Miami was able to do that today. Now, they were not able to keep the 40-point lead. The final score in that one, I believe, was 137-95. to So they were not quite able to get to the complete 40-piece blowout. But I'll take 37. I'll take 37. I'll take Jimmy and Bam getting to sit in the fourth quarter. You know, I love looking at this and seeing Jimmy Butler tonight. These were his uh, his final numbers. Jimmy only played 24 minutes, 15 points, six assists. Is getting his guys involved. One steal. But the big thing for him, eight and nine from the free throw line. Bam Adebayo, his line tonight, 15 points, 16 rebounds, 4 assists, 5 steals. Patty Mills, 10 points, 2 of 5 from downtown. He had a couple of steals tonight. Scary Terry, 14 points in his performance. Just absolutely all, all of the guys 
in the starting lineup were a plus 24 or better. Jimmy Butler was a team best plus 32 tonight. And then as far as the role guys go, you know, far and away the best performance was Haywood Highsmith. His final numbers today, 18 points, 7 to 10 from downtown, four, uh, 7 to 10 from the field, 4 to 4 from downtown. And he had a... Uh, well, let me zoom in. Getting old, man. My eyes on this box score. Uh, 18 points, five rebounds, two assists, and a steal for the locksmith. He was absolutely awesome in this performance. I can close up this Panthers game, by the way. The Cats win. It was a get. Hey, it was a get right Sunday. Heat Panthers able to get right. They needed. The, they both needed this one. Needed it like air to breathe. Um. And then uh, Thomas Bryant. Thomas Bryant was really solid off the bench, as he continues to be. Thomas Bryant continues to to give the Heat really nice minutes in the absence of Kevin Love. He is he's definitely he is playing with uh, with a lot of effort. I know he's not always in the right place. Uh, you know he's not always in the right place defensively. All the time. Fine, he has done a very admirable job in a game. He's had to start without Bam Adebayo, and the minutes where you don't have Bam Adebayo, Thomas Bryant has really given the Miami Heat some uh, some nice minutes. So, uh, so a great job by him and a great job all around. You got to see DeLon Wright nail a couple from downtown today. Um, so everybody was really getting in on the action. Miami finished with a 24 2 fast break advantage in this one. 50 points in the paint today for Miami in this one. Um, and Miami's biggest lead was 45 points. 45 points was your biggest lead tonight as Miami gets their record to 39 and 32 they had to win today to keep pace with the philadelphia 76ers who uh who win today over the clippers apparently there was some james harden drama afterwards too which shocking better than d-wade though you know dummies um so you have this tonight you have coming up at about an hour and 15 the pacers are taking on the lakers so over the lakers can do the heat of solid but um yeah much needed, much needed bounce back. Now everybody can go get high as a kite yogi and go party at Ultra for the final night if you want to get in that mud bath. They needed this one in a big way. Um, and it really was dictated by their two best guys tonight. Bam, Jimmy, they brought the defensive effort right away. Jimmy put the head down. Was What he what he was doing to the Cavaliers was like unholy. I mean, they could, they could not contain him. And... Look, when he when he is like that, when he doesn't feel like anybody can stop him and he wants to crash into people, as he says, play a car crash game, not many people want to mess with that. And, you know, there's been some talk about, hey, have you been able to see, you know, has, has Jimmy been, be, uh, been officiated a little bit differently lately? And it does feel like Jimmy has kind of knocked that off. You know, all this, uh, this talk about, oh, all right, well, is this going to affect Jimmy's game? What is he going to be like? And uh, today, he goes out there, and the last few games, Jimmy has gotten to the free throw line seven times, seven times, nine times. So, about where his average is. So, that's really great to see. And, of course, um, you know, when those two guys, when we see what the, the kind of habit they can cause on both ends, yeah, it's a little bit of, a, uh, of a, a an anomaly because you kick a – Cleveland team struggling a little bit fine whatever I mean I'm not quibbling over it they they clearly have not been bothered whatever the combinations have been this year they have been able to find a way against Cleveland and that's been uh that's been really really awesome to see for Miami they got the Golden State Warriors coming in on Tuesday and uh, they'll try and keep this puppy rolling right now but a good blowout thorough ass kicking tonight that's the way you, you, you get the week going 